Anyone who thinks you can't teach a chicken tricks hasn't talked to Terry Ryan, world-famous dog trainer based in the Dungeness Valley. She teaches the internationally popular chicken camp at Legacy Canine Behavior and Training. The idea is if you can train a chicken, you're going to have better skills to train anything. All of the trainers that I know swoon for the opportunity to participate in the chicken camp. I uh, like the chicken model, kind of fell into it accidentally. Uh, traditionally, people that are uh, working through training models of use pigeons and rats. Um, there were chickens in my friend's backyard, and when we got to the point where we wanted to move on from rats, the chickens were there. Her book was probably the fourth book that I read on behavior and training, and it's such a privilege to be here at Legacy to, you know, be in a presence and learn from her. We'll do 30 seconds. Ready? Begin. The chickens are the, are the teachers. I just facilitate that. I've lived out outside of the States for almost 20 years now, so I've lived next door to a lot of new chickens, but never been that physically close to them. And it's funny how we all uh, are kind of experts picking up our chickens and strutting around with them. Excuse the pun. And uh, uh, folks at home were joking, uh, are you going to organize a chicken revolt with all the, the neighbors' chickens now? Since the late 60s, I've been involved in dog training, training for competition. I've been involved in instructing. More recently, I'm involved in curriculum development and consulting, that type of thing. But it all boils down to the human-animal bond and getting dogs and people to be happy together in their environment. That's the principle behind everything that we do. Just to really improve and um, sort of fine-tune my fundamentals that I've learned on the Carl Pryor Clicker course, um, become a better observer, a better teacher, a better coach to clients and their dogs. The chicken training is, we, uh, I've done instructor's courses and trainer's courses with dogs because that's who we are, we're dog people. Uh, over the years, uh, people from different countries have come and they haven't been able to bring their dog. So I would give them loner dogs from the community, which worked out pretty well. But then I had the idea, let's train rats. And the reason is most dog trainers have not trained a rat. So they're going to be able to um, think in different terms. They don't love their rat. Their rat doesn't go home with them. Um, their next promotion doesn't depend on if the rat is well trained or not. So the rat would help us to um, hone our skills, our mechanical skills and the principles of classical and operant conditioning. Um, we would rather use reward-based methods than um, aversive-based methods. And our facility here is a dog training facility. I have several instructors that um, work with us. I do most of the chicken training and most of the traveling and uh, curriculum development with, uh, within the United States and other countries. There are chickens that can do pretty uh, awesome discriminations. We can put... Uh, ten little toy zoo animals down, and if the zebra is the animal they're supposed to choose, they'll take the zebra and ignore the others. Uh, we'll do a color discrimination. We'll do cueing. You can do this behavior only if you get the cue for it. We don't want any spontaneous. Please just wait for the cue. Any chicken can do this. Um, to do it quickly, when you have a group of people in that want results, it's best to get a chicken that's been acclimated to the environment, understands that being away from the flock where they live in our chicken house uh, is okay. As far as the breed of chicken, we want active, curious chickens, and often that equates with fast, somewhat flighty chickens. I worked at the College of Veterinary Medicine for 13 years. I was a program coordinator for the Dean. We had a human-animal bond program called the People Pet Partnership. Um, but when our youngest child uh, left home to go to school, I kind of quit that job and did the dog thing full-time. I wouldn't say that chickens are real, real smart. Um, they're a, kind of a simple animal. What I like about chickens is they will not work for you if you punish them or holler at them or, or shake them by the scruff. And I would like to think that more people would train their dogs that way with positive reinforcement, more motivational methods. And that's the main reason I like to use chickens. We have people here now from all over the world. We have professional trainers that are here. We have uh, 
many different disciplines. Uh, school teachers, we have dog trainers, we have um, zoo people here, and uh, we have people from industry learning to be better at um, teamwork and team building. But the thing of it is, when they come in, no one has trained a chicken. We like to say you can check your ego at the door and come on in and start from square one and have a good time with it, learn little by little, and then make the transition to when you go back home, who is it you're teaching? Are you teaching children? Are you teaching zebras? Are you teaching dogs? Um, this year I'm doing chicken training workshops in uh, Italy, in Australia. Um, so I do travel around a lot. And that's kind of fun. That's new for me to go to countries I haven't visited before. A lot of clients don't want to go into the competitive side of obedience or show work, um, but they still want to do something fun with their dogs. And we do trick training classes and we use clicker training to teach them that. There we have people here from the humane area, the veterinary area, so everybody has their little area of expertise. We have a crane expert here. We have macaque people, the monkeys. We already have a project dog waiting for me and, and they say he's speedy, but I say I'm working with chickens. So, I'm, and I've got one of the, the, uh, the, there are two chickens that are faster breed wise than the others. And one of those is mine. So good training for the pup I'm going back to work with. I like animals. They're pretty honest. Animals uh, tell you what they're thinking.